Guys, the chicken is here bringing you another boomage video. In today's video, guys, we're going to discuss some of the uh, latest updates to warships going into Season 10 in just a few days. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell uh, if you want to uh, be first to see whenever we launch um, the Season 10 live stream. We're going to be going live 4 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time Sunday morning, probably a little bit before that actually, uh, to kick off warships. It's going to be really exciting. I can't wait. Also, want to give a big shout out to everyone that has been using the code CHICKEN uh, in the shop. Uh, they have fixed it now, so you can just retype the same uh, content creator name in, and it works. Um, and also, for everyone that does use this code, just send me a screenshot on either Twitter uh, or Discord. Um, links down below, and uh, I'm going to enter you into the Chicken's monthly or bi-monthly uh, giveaway. We're going to be giving away some cool stuff. Uh, could be merch, could be um, gems, could just be... Uh, I, iTunes or Google Play gift cards, uh, things like that. So, that being said, what we're talking about today, guys, is the changes to uh, warships that are coming up. So, we discussed this a little bit in the update, but I wanted to, there seemed to be some confusion, so I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. So, essentially, let's explain the problem first. So, well, I guess we'll, we'll tell you what the changes are. So, the changes are now, uh, you can't see other, pl other players' names that you go against in a warships match. Um, until the match, until the, the match is over, until it ends. Um, so they did that, and there was also another change where, um, this one wasn't, uh, it, it was just how they calculated the win rate. It was draws no longer count as wins or something like that. So your win rate is just your win percentage over on the right side. Doesn't mean anything, doesn't affect the game. Um, but they've changed that, so now, um... Now draws don't get calculated into the win, win percentage like they used to. Um, so it's going to be actually a little bit harder to get a better win percentage now. So that being said, why they did that was there was... Um, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. So we look at the guy in first place. So take a look over here is what I want you to look at. So one lost draw. He has... You know, that looks pretty normal. For the amount of battles that he's done, 13 draws isn't, uh, isn't too crazy. Because draws is what we want to focus on. Then we go to the next guy. 303, 124, 35 draws. Okay, starting to look a little, you know, that's kind of weird. That's a lot of draws. Then we look at the third place guy. 77 draws. That doesn't seem possible. We look at the fourth guy. 173 draws. And it continues like this. Um, you know, these guys, they have so many draws. And it's been found out. You know, not everyone. They're not all doing this. Um, so essentially what the problem is, is... Right now, uh, a draw, in, in terms of win streaks, if you get a draw, it doesn't kill your win streak. It counts as a win towards your win streak right now. So if you stack up a bunch of draws, you get on that win streak, or just simply extends the win streak, so then you can get more more stars from the next match that you win. And uh, that's a problem. That's a problem because, you know, compare that to, you know, the guys like us, that are battling it out just trying to get on the top 500 leaderboard we're already at a disadvantage because of the way the warship season starts that we get less chests less keys and things like that um at the start of the season because we didn't finish at the top rank um so it's just another barrier for everyone to have to get through like not only do we have less resources to start with um these guys are kind of teaming up and making sure that they can keep their win streaks alive now that being said I don't think the um, draw extension exploit, if you want to call it, I don't think it's that. Uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like I think, I, you know, it, it definitely helps. Don't get me wrong; it definitely helps them, but it's not game breaking. Like you know, it, like if um, if everyone was doing it, uh, it wouldn't be that. You know, it, they're not. It's it's not propelling to the top of the leaderboard. The, the, uh, what is propelling them to the top of the leaderboard is the fact that they are on the top of the leaderboard already, and in my opinion, the bigger issue is that, um, Warships doesn't fully reset, and, uh, since there's been some bugs and chest glitches and things like that, um, people have never had to come back down from that, like, because uh, the, the way you start off the warship season, the higher your rank was last season, the more chests you get at the be and keys you get at the beginning of the next season. Uh, or the more tokens and keys you get at, at the beginning of the next season, which is huge, huge. Because, you know, the, the first few days of warships really kind of um, decides how, how well you're going to do throughout the season. So, um, yeah, it's very important to get off to a good start. 
And, you know, I don't want to get down on anything. I'm just, you know, going over the warships changes. That's all, um, you know, because a lot of people were confused by what they were. Now, all that being said, I still think that um, a lot of these changes, they don't really, uh, like I just said, uh, they don't really affect everybody. Um, you still get to see who you played at the end of the battle. So, if you know, if you're curious or you want to see if you match up with one of your friends or something like that, you can still see that, which is cool. Um, but other than that, I don't think these changes, like, drastically um, affect most people. Because, I mean, th there's bigger things that you can do, right? Like, if you're, um, on the one hand, if you're complaining about not having as many uh, upgrade tokens and keys as the guy in first place, but you're letting your chest fill out to four out of four every second day, you know, you're uh, stepping over $100 bills to pick up nickels at that point, if that makes sense. Um, so, like, you know, there, there's other things you can do that are going to still put you in a pretty good position to win. Uh, it's just making optimal tech, tr tech tree choices, playing every day, grinding out uh, battles once you get your effective tech. And essentially uh, what effective tech is, is just, you know, the important upgrades. Getting the next engine room, uh, upgrading, getting your statue node upgrades, which are troop damage, troop health, building damage, and building health. Uh, getting those and then pushing right away while other people might not have them yet. That's really gonna that, that, that's gonna push you forward more in warships than you know dragging out a, a win streak with a couple of your buddies. Now, when you're at the top, uh, th that probably does go a long way, and you know it helps you out you know uh, a little bit more because the matchmaking uh, also what which plays into this the matchmaking at the top is going to be a lot slimmer because you're not gonna you know you're not gonna be uh, legend rank three going against uh, diamond rank. Uh, 23 guys you know they, it's not going to match you up like that so they're also going to be matched up um they're they're gonna you know be matched up with a much smaller amount of people they're probably communicating on some sort of third party platform and uh figuring out what they can do to uh queue up at the same time to increase that chance of extending that win streak and thus getting more stars so that being said the change to um the change to have um, the names blurred out is it the best? Uh, is is it the best way to uh, to deal with this? Maybe, maybe not. Um, you know, banning all the players that uh, use this exploit would obviously be the best way to do it. Um, but we don't have that, so I mean, you know, we don't we don't know if this is going to help or not. I, you know, I, it's probably not going to stop it, but it, it's it's another layer they got to get through. You know, they got to put a building somewhere. Um, you know, they got to make sure that, uh, you know, it's going to be riskier, in my opinion, because it's like, oh, I'm like, I'm pretty sure, you know, this is my buddy. I'm going to retreat right away. And then it's like, oh, no, it actually wasn't. It was someone that has like the same name as him, you know. So, I mean, there's a lot of factors to play into it. Like, is it going to fix everything? No, but I mean... It's hard to have a complete warship season, or it's hard to do anything, you know, without having someone exploit something. And this is a small number of people. They are already at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, I mean, uh, unless you're really, like, in that top 500 uh, leaderboard area, it's probably not affecting us anyways. But it's interesting, nonetheless. I I, I felt uh, it, it was worth a little bit of, uh, of discussion. Chicken, getting back into some operations, guys, as you can see right here. Taken down Quay. I think this was. Uh, I think we moved up from Foxtron. We're, uh, we're we started a five men. Uh, I'll show you Chicken's last hit from yesterday. Uh, oh no, we can't because there's an update. Yeah. So I mean, I, I just wanted to go over the kind of the warships changes. Uh, really looking forward to season ten, and um, yeah, make sure you're, sure you guys are tuned in. Um, Sunday morning, Eastern time, like first thing in the morning or late Saturday night, however you want to look at it. Uh, we're going to be posting a ton of Season 10 uh, content, videos, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's always so much fun at the beginning of the season, you know, just breaking down the tech tree and uh, hopefully not making too many mistakes. Maybe sometimes making mistakes, but um, allowing you guys to, uh, to be able to learn from the mistakes that the chicken makes. Um... So yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments, guys, uh, your thoughts on um, on these warship changes. Um, hopefully, it ends up, you know, hopefully it ends up meaning more stars for everyone, more stars in the player pool uh, that we can get. Um, you know, the biggest thing that I would like to see would just be like a full wipe, a full reset of everyone starting off out of the gates. Everyone's on the same page, just like just like how the Mega Crab works, just like how operations work. Um, 
you know, how everything else competitive in Boom Beach uh, kind of is, you know. So, yeah, that's the chicken's thoughts. I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more, guys. I do appreciate it if you use the code CHICKEN uh, as the creator boost in the shop. And as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative, or you like the sign. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back, back.